Acorn TV started in 2011 essentially as an exploitation of what we're all familiar with as a long tail economic model. We bring licenses into the United States and the first windows for those li uh, licenses are a broadcast window, uh, DVD and Blu-ray, which still actually remain quite a, a viable and important revenue stream. And so the notion then of what you did in digital was, is there a little bit more you can eke out of this, this property, this value? Um, but a large part of the challenge with a long tail model is if the platform cost and the technology involved in getting to your audience is complex and fractured as a market, you end up having to spend a lot of money. So if you want to be on Roku and Fire TV and Apple TV, as well as the web and as well as tablets, both uh, iOS and Android, you end up spending an awful lot of money to be in all of those places to hopefully aggregate little pockets of audience on all of those platforms and hope that your aggregate is something meaningful. So that's the big question. And I think what's fascinating between 2011 and, and now, Acorn TV has grown 2014, 30, 35,000 subs. Uh, 12, 31, 2015, so three months ago, we were at 190. As of the end of the first quarter of 2016, we were at 250. So the scale of, of rate of increase is really interesting and rapid once you've got past that initial slow phase. And I think that the trick there, the point at which you as a business stop thinking about it as a long tail and start thinking about it as what I would call a long body. You're not relying on one particular window to give you the lion's share of your revenue you're recognizing the potential of all of those windows with the same value of opportunity.